Hello friends. So in today's discussion, I would be telling you a trick to solve googly questions in the exam. When you face questions in the exam where you have no clue, how do you come to the right answer? That is what I'll be discussing today. So we had this question today that is a lymph node biopsy of a six year old boy. It shows markedly decreased number of lymphocytes in the paracortical areas. Analysis of his peripheral blood leukocytes is likely to show normal to elevated number of cells expressing which surface CD marker. So when you get a question like this, concentrate on the most important terms. Number one, paracortical areas. So which cells are seen in paracortical areas of the lymph node? So just for a quick review, in the lymph node, we have the cortex, paracortex and the medulla. So we have the cortex that is rich in B cells, paracortex which is rich in T cells and the medulla, medulla M, it stands for macrophages. So it is rich in macrophages or phagocytes. B first. B letter comes first, so B is outside, T comes later, so it is inside. So from cortex to medulla, it is B cells, T cells and macrophages, that is in the medulla. So now in the question we have, paracortical areas is decreased. The lymphocytes in paracortical areas is decreased. So basically, the T cells are decreased. So if you have T cells decreased, then you will have B cells which are normal or increased. So you will have normal to elevated number of basically B cells. So the marker for B cells amongst the options provided CD8, 3, 4, 10 is CD10. So the answer is CD10. If you do not know in paracortical areas which are the cells which are predominant. So in that case the trick that you can use to solve this question is look at the options and the cd markers try to categorize these options of cd markers into two groups is there a feature which puts three options into one group and the one in the other group so that is what we see here in the options cd8 cd3 cd4 these are all t cell markers while it is only cd10 which is a b cell marker so when you do that, you know that three options go into one side and the fourth goes into the other side. So you can take a logical guess and mark CD10 as the option. So use this trick of categorizing the options into two groups, three in one and the fourth in the other group. So this would be the answer which goes in the other group. This is a very useful trick to solve questions where you are baffled and it sounds like new. Use this trick to solve the questions.